Hey, welcome back to part three of this Let's Play Civilization 4 Let's Play. We're playing as the Incan Empire. We're going quite well. We're on Emperor level. Uh, we are a bit bogged down in a war with Montezuma. He invades us, but he doesn't seem to be able to want to attack our city, and I would say not able to either attack our city. And we can't attack him in the jungle. We don't have the power to kill him inside that jungle. So we're a bit of a stalemate. So I've just started to build World Wonders behind me, as I am industrial. Uh, and that's all. I'm, I, I guess I'll also send a, send something down here to explore uh, soon. I guess maybe I will send... Oh, I have no... I forgot. I have no chariot. That happened in the last one. We're still yet to pick up either of these horse that are quite, quite within our reach. Let's have a look at our espionage, which we still don't fully understand. And uh, total EP made per turn is plus four. So we have 88. But what can we do? I'm really not sure what what is what we could do at all. So I guess we might need a spy. Probably need to build spies. Still, we'll, we'll figure that out as, as it arises. We're hoping, we're just hoping it, to ignoring it won't cause us too much trouble at this stage. Okay, we're running out of money a bit. This war is actually hurting us significantly. But I think it's probably hurting him as well. We can't build there. What's it telling us to build there for? Or we can't build anything useful. Okay, he's moving up towards this place, which is, is a bit of a concern for us, but probably not a massive concern at this stage. Hope, we're just hoping war weariness. Can we do anything spy-wise? Yeah, maybe not. I guess it'd be hard to get a spy into him during the middle of a war. Okay, we're. I guess we'll just ignore him and uh, build this city as if he wasn't there. We don't need any more defenders. Let's go with a forge that'll increase our happiness and our strength. Double whammy. Yeah, this uh, that city is unassailable at that stage. I feel from this army, it's a strong enough army, but. It's with that defense. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Uh, I'd really like this city to grow a bit. There doesn't seem much food sources. It was a bit of a bit of a strategic placement, I think, which has to be done sometimes. You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sails. Oh, calendar. We definitely want calendar, but look how far away it is. Let's again. We have to build up the base of this technology tree. I think. Oh, this war is really killing us. I am so willing to do some deal with him. I am. I would give him a surprising amount. I think he would be surprised with what I'd be willing to offer in return for peace. We're in a lot of pain. Okay, just let's get this one last forest out of our way. You know what? We should be building a couple of farms on this uh, on this grassland next to the river. Okay, and we can also get rice up there. And this city is looking. It could be a nice little spot. Oh wow! What on earth did I just do there? We're going to have to defend uh, this worker. Oh, that could be trouble. I'm going to have to move this guy up here. I've got to slow down a little bit. Does he think he's going to sweep around behind us and not realize there's a mountain here? That that could be amusing. I'm going to have to move a couple of troops over there. Actually, we're going to have a um, we're going to have our own chariot unit very soon. So, oh, please, please survive. Oh, that was a, I think probably a 50-50 fight or so, but we did survive it. Okay, everybody can go back to their positions, and he can probably defend the city against quite a bit. 
double leveled up city defense as he is. Oh, please attack me. Is there any... If only I could go to... Okay, he's willing to talk. That's excellent. Well, well, we're not willing to give him a city. What about a ceasefire? No. Hopefully once these wo world wonders kick in, we can start... Uh, let's, uh, let's build a farm here and make sure this guy gets it. Um, hopefully these world wonders start kicking in, we can get a little bit of a boost economically out of that okay that might be the full that might be everybody I think there might be six five or six civilizations in total so that's five we've met including ourselves Let's see what this guy says and we still want to keep uh, the Egyptians happy they the cautious with us our borders are very close this could get messy Speaking of close borders getting messy, yeah. Uh, two war two cities at war against each other are so close, yeah. Cannot touch each other. What has he got here? He's actually built up quite the army. Could cause us a bit of trouble. But I still think we can defend it. Tem Temple of Ar Aramis. That's mostly just trade, I think. 100% uh, trade root yield and a uh, free priest. Not too, not too shabby whatsoever. Uh, terrace, yeah, and uh, a chariot before that comes online for a bit of movement. Our technology is just suffering, which that that is definitely going to suffer our um, our ability to build world wonders very soon, at least. This war needs to end. Oh boy, I'm not giving up a city for it. There's, there's no way I'm giving up a city for it. Can we attack this? Yeah, I can attack that. And, uh, but I need to move people out to defend it. Um, You know, I guess there's no point leaving anyone back, is there? Um, bar one, just for happiness reasons. He can't get in around behind us. Let's get this guy back. Hopefully he feels a little more confident to in the forest. But the problem is, we're, we feel a little less confident defending in the forest. So, let's see what happens. Okay, he's attacked us. We've actually brought him out. And we have a wide range of defenders. I, I'm, I'm confident for the moment. Oh, we did not. That was not um, what we wanted. And we only have one axeman. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, here he is. He's weakened. Okay, this is that's going good. I don't see. I don't see this skirmish uh, being a big loss for us at this stage. Um, but so far, it's a hundred percent victory with one. Uh, um, with one with two withdrawals at this stage. Looks like he's getting desperate. Ooh. Oh, excellent. That was a fantastic, uh, fantastic outcome for us. And we've got a general. Um, do we... Do we just set up... It's so early on, it gives us such a reward for so many turns. I think we just set it up here in the capital and build build lots of great soldiers with it. You know what, I think cost effectively, I think that might be the option early on. Um, but then again, do I want to do I want the capital to be busy building soldiers when he's he's building my world wonders, to be quite frank. Hmm. I guess I could just let this city build my soldiers, as he's in the middle of the war himself. How long does it take him to get a road out there? Okay, we're going to move these guys back and maybe buy for peace. Well, we level up. Level up that... Uh, oh, everybody got that. Oh, everybody who's getting some got it. 
Now, what about now? What's your arrogance say now? Now you're willing for a 10, 10 piece deal. Uh, we're going to take that deal and we're going to cut, take the time to cut the forest around us and also try and build up our army a little bit. Um, we're really going for world wonders and this has hurt us. This war has stagnated us greatly. We accept your offer, is the long and short of that. Okay, excellent. We should be able to get our technology growing a little bit faster now. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation. And also, we were. <laughs> know well what leads you forward. We were risking being invaded by the Egyptians, which would have been an absolute disaster. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, that's going to turn into our. Um, our army building city. We're going to designate it that. De designated thus. Right, what are we building over here? Um, oh, we need we need to get his health up, so we'll go ahead and do that. Right, that should be a bit of money. Significant bit of money, in fact. Um, how is this city? It doesn't look like he can probably grow much more. He cannot. So we'll go ahead and get him to build a worker. We'll always do with a few workers. And this city certainly needs to be working on um, culture. Culture, culture, culture. These cities up here. I guess libraries, actually, we definitely want some libraries. Get this technology up. Okay, get, we're actually a long way ahead of everyone. Two successful wars. Um, that war was definitely more successful for us. We beat his army down. We let this worker go, freelance. Um, oh no, he started working on uh, sugar, which is... Which is stupid. Be oh, he's, he's probably just doing a road. Because we're getting calendar in so soon. We might waste a few of the workers' times. Um, actually, yeah, we'll keep them micromanaged for the moment. We'll actually build roads over all these calendar spots. And we're going to get rid of this jungle. I, I think I'd forgotten. Um, yeah, we will, I guess, get rid of this jungle... This forest here, although that's not really a danger to us in this upcoming battle, uh, we'll just go ahead and build a mine. The workers, the automated workers, tend not to prioritize building mines, which I quite like. We still need to see what's down here. Uh, I guess we could we could afford to send a chariot down. I uh, know we don't want to declare war, but we definitely just want to have a look. Okay, so if I go here. He is spending more than me on uh, espionage, which makes sense because I'm spending zero. But I, I certainly undervalue it. Could be, it could be to my detriment. Okay, looks like I've got another great uh, person, which is going to help me with religion if it ever comes up. Let's let's go ahead and build an extra mine on this. Uh, again, we're going to keep this guy. To try and oh yes, uh, actually they don't have any Buddhists. Right, so we're gonna keep it because we're gonna take the city <laughs> eventually. So we'll keep him in um, reserve. All right, this is looking good. Now we we mustn't forget though, Montezuma is coming back for us. He is not gone. Uh, more like wow, we have no libraries. We have so little technology. And there's definitely room for a city down here, so we'll just go ahead and build a road out. Ooh, he needs... Uh, he's already unhealthy enough before I cut down this forest on him. That could be a mistake, but you know what? I like mines, and I want him to be building World Wonders quickly. Okay, this is a. Uh, this might be a bit too much micromanagement for you, but this is Emperor we're trying to beat. Not the hardest, but 
certainly not the easiest either. Clams. Yeah, that would help out our our health wise, but we're not giving you a horse for it, so check off. And, um, oh that uh, aqueduct would help our health also crazy. We might even be able to build a wood one or whatever. Come on, culture. Culture, culture, culture. And we're gonna try and get a settler out here, but we don't have the money. We've got to build up this technology first. That's uh there's no hurry either. It doesn't look like anybody's coming from down there. It looks like we might have that little area to ourselves. Yeah, it's looking quite a nice area down there. Maybe a bit wasteful building the road out now, but speed us along when we finally go for it. Okay, an aqueduct. What about building a hang gardens here? Sounds good, Guidi. Uh, let's go for it. Screw it. And let's uh, see if cutting down those jungles helped this time. Maybe whatever we need is to help with that. We have got. Uh, don't follow what I mean. Cutting down forests to help build world wonders, but cutting down jungles don't seem to. At least early in the game. I think getting some technology allows the jungle. Um, mathematics. Yeah, something just clicked in my mind. I think it was mathematics, uh, does it? Um, let's have a look at mathematics. Uh, workers produce 50% from shopping. That doesn't... Yeah, I knew they did something with shopping. I wonder do they help with forest with like jungle. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build a forge here because we really want to be able to build uh, buildings very quickly. Yeah, we definitely need this calendar. We need this mausoleum so we can go for a golden, a golden age, so we can change our civics up. Because we're getting into a bit of trouble civic-wise at the moment, I think. Right, that's a nice. Oh, another horse. That's a nice little area for us. Um, we'll just go ahead and build a settler soon. Not quite now, though. Uh. I don't think I need any more soldiers at the moment. I will get more technology. Yeah, okay, and we'll we'll bring this uh we'll bring this chariot back into the fold, help defend the motherland. How's this city feeling? Is it happy with being us? How do we tell uh, it is yeah, it's eighty six percent pink and barely remembers its early days oh wow the Aztecs have actually grown powerful and we've beaten these guys back twice and it's quite good for us that uh, the Egyptians are so weak they are unlikely to invade us then but <laughs> they still might um, they still probably will okay, that, uh, that little hill would be quite tasty we got 15 turns. Not good. More happiness. Um, and we'll let this worker go free. Do what you will, sir. Our micromanagement days are over of the workers, I think. Okay, confer to... To what? Hinduism? I think... Uh, you know, if we deny this, we could just wait and do it when we get out when we get our golden age and we do it for free. But you know what? I don't want to make this guy angry. He, that would make us great friends. Because he, oh, it would also make us friends with Montezuma, which would leave a bit of pressure on us. Then again, if we when when we go and invade one of them, the other might bully us. Uh, hmm. I think I can wait. I think I, I can, it'll save me one turn if I wait till a world wonder, till a golden age, I mean. I think he's gonna live with that pain. Okay, how are we looking technology wise? We're still fairly poor. And we are financial, aren't we? Well, we really need some um some sea 
C unit, so we can take advantage of all that money that's on the coast. Actually, look at all that money there. This city gets a little bit bigger. And we can definitely, oh, we can definitely post one there. Build a galley, get a uh, get a unit out there. Uh, yeah, more the Straits or Maori, Maori probably. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm saying that. Okay. Oh, we still need to cut down this jungle. Okay, uh, let's have a look at uh, what kind of resources everyone has. Um, I could get pig and clam, that's probably not the worst. Uh, we'll trade... Oh, he's willing... Oh, he wants this and he's willing to give me... No, I think I can give him this and he wants... He'll give me that. Uh, which I will take some of that, even though I don't want to make him even more powerful. The rice is all I can give you. Yeah, we'll take that. That's, uh, that seems like a fine deal to me. I would rather have made that deal with a lower person, but for everything, there is a season, doesn't look like anybody was up for that. For every purpose under heaven. Okay, we're home to get a golden age soon, so we're gonna need uh, monetism. Monetism. Okay, let's go for this. And I guess once we get Golden Age, we can start spreading the religion. Oh, we we never actually took up that religion, now that I think about it. Okay, that should take a very short time, 11, 10 turns. So I was hoping a little better than that. Okay, everybody seems to be in some long-term building products, projects. Most cultured, that's good. Oh, nice. Gil Gilgamesh has declared war on Montezuma. We might take that as an opportunity to do the same, but no, we're building too many wonders and we don't have any siege weapons yet. But that, that means we're actually quite protected against him for the moment. So let's uh, let's play this smart and move our army this side in case we go end up getting invaded over here. This city particularly could, actually both of them could get reached very quickly. This music's definitely building up the stress. Okay, well actually we can start working on all these calendar products. That will increase my happiness massively. What do I have? I have sugar, I have dye, and I'm even going to get silk soon when I move over there. That Wow, that's a tree happiness. Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely have to move, move over here then. We're going to have to get a settler somewhere over here. I think he can hit everything. Oh, he only hits everything. He sits in the middle of the island. We want him on the coast. Oh, what's this? Spice. Uh, yeah, spice. That's four happiness. I guess we can ignore the the horse. Yeah, does anybody actually walking horse? Oh, this city is close enough. But we already have two horses. Yeah, all right. That's the, that's the plan. That's the plan if you follow that um, panic description. Lord, God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay, we're not going to be doing this until we get Golden Age, which I hope to be soon. But we're going to be able to upgrade. Actually, we don't have too many choices. Uh, it's been a while. So we've had a choice to build aesthetics. We're going to start building now. Or those world wonders. And, uh, we leave that army up there to protect our northern border. Okay, that seems like a good spot to end this third video, I believe. Um, it's going quite well. Oh, no. The Celts have actually uh, got ahead of us. Um, I wonder why that is. We might have to increase. Let's. Uh, we're still not quite sure how to work this, but we're going to increase our um, our weightedness onto uh, the Celts. We're worried about our neighbors first, and then we're also worried about these guys. But I'm still not sure what I'm using that for. But it, let me know in the description, especially if it's close to the release date. You might help me out a lot. Uh, if you like these videos, if you've got this far into the third video. I don't think I have to tell you what to do, but in the description below, you will find a link to the next video to the playlist of the entire series, and I hope you enjoyed them. I enjoyed making them. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.